This bill is essential, not just because Donald Trump's presidency has been so damaging, though it has been, but because we owe it to the American people to put in place meaningful constraints on power, fix what is broken, and ensure that there is never again another Richard Nixon or Donald Trump for either party. What has become painfully clear is that even in a dangerous world, the threat to our democracy from outside the country is less than the threat from within. The guardrails that have been built over the course of the country's history and strengthened after Watergate have been shaken and broken. Uh, uh, and Chairwoman, and I also want to acknowledge Maxine Waters is doing some very important work. During this once in a generation moment, the Congress has a sacred obligation for the people to defend the, the rule of law and restore accountability and basic ethics to the government. And that is exactly what we are doing with Protect Our Democracy Act. Now, this legislative pact is sweeping, designed to address the president's staggering litany of abuses and ensure that they can never happen again by anyone. They, this package is future-focused, uh, intended to restore checks and balances not only during this term, but for any future president. Distinguished Chairwoman of the uh, Government Reform and I think these reforms will have bipartisan support next year uh, in a new administration uh, when my GOP colleagues uh, will not want to see a Democratic president do half the things uh, of uh, the current president. So while I don't expect to see GOP support in the Senate this year, uh, I do expect these, will, these reforms will enjoy bipartisan support in the future. And, you know, all I can say is the Kremlin, I'm sure, is very pleased. Um, after all, this advances a narrative that has its origins in the Kremlin uh, and has been propagated by Kremlin agents uh, in Ukraine, like Andrei Derkach. Um, more than that, uh, as uh, Senator Johnson uh, has repeatedly admitted, uh, the point of the report is a political one, to have an impact on the election.